Hello everyone and welcome back to Bards and Books. I am Usman and today we are doing a tag video. This is the Led Zeppelin tag. Led Zeppelin tag. And I was tagged by Jared over at the Fantasy Thinker, so thank you Jared for tagging me. I was also unofficially tagged by a couple other people, Colin at Colin's Corner and Cliff from Cliff's Dark Gems, so thank you you guys as well. But I was actually going to put this tag off for a little longer because I felt like I didn't have enough experience to, or reading experience to, to answer all of these questions accurately. But upon further reflection, I, I, I did come up with some answers, so I'm going to do this for you and hopefully, you know, it's enjoyable and, and blah blah blah. But anyways, let's get to it. Question number one is, name an author from whom you've read a great book and a bad book. So that for me would have to be Robert Jordan and the Wheel of Time series. I mean, it's pretty unanimous. He's got good books, he's got bad books. When I read The Eye of the World, the very first book in the series, I remember absolutely falling in love with it and just, I was super excited to see where the series went. It was just, it was a very enjoyable one for me. Um, so I like that one. A bad book, Crossroads of Twilight. I mean, it's part of this log. A lot of the books in this log were really bad. Crossroads of Twilight is just one of them. The plot basically just came to a halt there and it was just super tedious to get through. Not even the ending was enough to uh, kind of save it for me. I gave it, I think I gave it one star. It's a great series overall, but it definitely has its um, slower and frustrating moments, I guess you can say. So. The Wheel of Time, Robert Jordan. Question number two, name an author you've outgrown or have no desire to read anymore. <laughs> so my answer for this is, oh, I forgot the author name, but it is the Fairy Unicorn series by, I'm gonna put the books up here so you can see who it's from. This might surprise a lot of you, but I read a couple of the Fairy Unicorn books for a challenge on this channel, actually. I did the uh, blindfold book cover challenge with Chloe um, I'll, I guess I'll link that somewhere so you can check it out if you want to. But I failed. I failed miserably. And my punishment for that ended up being having to read these books, these fairy unicorn books. I mean, it was, it was, it was an experience. What can I say? <laughs> I did, I did vlog the, my reading those two books. So maybe I'll link those as well somewhere, but they're on the channel. You can check them out. Um, and yeah, I mean... What can I say? I, I won't be continuing the series. Well, at least not willingly. <laughs> if I if I lose a challenge or something in the future again, maybe maybe I'll have to continue. Who knows what my punishment will be? But never say never, right? Anyways, as of right now, I guess you could say I've outgrown it in a sense. <laughs> I I don't have any desire to continue or read the other books. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Question number three: Name a book that shocked you with something unexpected. So that's a recent one. That is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Now going into this, I knew it was going to be dark and brutal. And I mean, it's a grim, dark historical fantasy book. I just did not expect it to be that brutal and dark. It was, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. It was, it was a fun experience, I guess. It was just, I like historical fiction and historical fantasy. I like history. I'm a history buff, so... I like uh, when series kind of incorporate that, especially fantasy fantasy series incorporating that. So that was nice. Now the the brutal and like the crazy moments that I didn't expect. It's not that I didn't enjoy them. They were it was fine. It's just I guess I wouldn't really have imagined that stuff if I hadn't read it. So that was a bit of a wake up call. Um, it was enjoyable in that sense, kind of kind of learning that. You know these kind of atrocities are they did happen they they very well could have happened and a lot of them did happen yeah like i said there were times where i just had to put the put the book down and kind of just stare at the wall for a little while it was brutal it was dark and you know a lot of those moments i i can't say i'm not gonna say i don't i like i regret when i read stuff like that i don't regret it a lot of it is catharsis for me, so that's why I enjoy a lot of dark fantasy and grim dark and that kind of stuff. But yeah, it just it it took me by surprise. I didn't expect it, and uh, I can't say that's something that I experience a lot. So, anyways, that's my long-winded answer: the Poppy War. 
Question number four, name a book or author you don't understand the hype for. Um, Steven Erickson, who is this Steven Erickson guy? With, I mean, he's, he's got these thick ass books with these super cool titles and, and I mean, he wears glasses. Like, who is this guy? I'm just joking. That's, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally joking. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have an answer for this one. Um, I, yeah. I haven't, I, you know, I haven't read a whole ton of authors. Like I said, I'm very new to reading still. I can't really give uh, an answer, a proper answer for this. I, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't consider any author really overhyped as of right now. I've heard people say Brandon Sanderson. I suppose I can kind of understand that with some of his works, but if you've read any of his short stories, the dude deserves every bit of hype he gets. I don't think he's overhyped at all. So I can't say Brandon Sanderson. I've heard J.K. Rowling as well. I can understand that one as well, but again, you know, it's been too long since I've read those books and the movies were great. The books I enjoyed as well, for remembering what I remember from them. I can't really say that's overhyped. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't give a proper answer for this, so sorry. Number five, name a book or series that has been on your TBR for over a year. <laughs> oh man, there's there's way too many to list here. I if I if I listed them all, we we'd be here all week. So I'm just gonna list a few that I wrote down here. Let's see: Faithful and the Fallen, Malazan, Realm of the Elderlings, First Law, Song of Ice and Fire, Gentleman Bastard, Stormlight Archive. That's just a select few. Um, some of the most anticipated on my list. There's, oh my God, there's so many others. It's not even funny. <laughs> so I'm not gonna dwell on it. Th those are my answers. You know, if I continue on, it's just gonna make both of us upset. So let's move on. Number six, name a book or series with an unusual or unconventional setting. Uh, so for this, I'm gonna go with Discworld. I love Discworld. Terry Pratchett is a genius, but it is very unusual. I mean, the, t the title of the series speaks for itself. It's a disc world. It's based, it's literally a disc. Um, some cool places on there, some humorous places. And I mean, it's a world that rests on four elephants who are in turn on the back of a giant turtle floating through space. It doesn't get any more unusual than that, folks. But anyways, Discworld is awesome, and I'm looking forward to continuing that series. Number seven, name a book you buddy read with someone whom you completely disagreed with. Now, I'm sorry, but there is no answer I have for this. I haven't done a whole lot of buddy reads, and there are absolutely none that I've done that I really had strong disagreements with with them with so sorry I'm gonna I plan on doing a lot more buddy reads in the future so I'm gonna do a Malazan read along with a bunch of awesome people here on booktube some of my close friends maybe Faithful in the Fallen we'll see there'll be a lot of them I'm gonna get to they're gonna be future buddy reads for sure and I'm looking forward to all of them but unfortunately at this point I can't I can't answer this question number eight name an auto buy author <sighs> I don't really have an answer. Man, I am horrible. I'm so sorry. I don't really have an answer for this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a prediction. So I'm predicting that an auto buy author for me will be John Gwynn. The Faithful and the Fallen is a very, very highly anticipated series for me. I'm anticipating that I'm going to love it. Um, also, one of the first books I picked up when I got back into reading was The Shadow of the Gods and The Hunger of the Gods. Well, two books. But that series, what is it, the Bloodsworn, Bloodsworn series, that has been, that's basically one of my most, or my most anticipated series. Yeah, like I said, it was one of the first books I picked up when I got back into reading, and I am just so looking forward to that. I anticipate I'm going to love it. The, I mean, the covers are just so beautiful. That was part of the reason why I picked them up. But anyways, I am, yeah, John Gwynn. I'm predicting that he is going to be an autobi author. Um... I will keep you updated with that. Let's see. Let's see if I am horribly wrong or, or what have you. But yeah, that's my answer there. Number nine, name a book or series you keep coming back to even after you've DNF'd it. So there isn't anything recent that I have like that. But from the past, there definitely was a book like that that I kept DNFing and kept coming back to. And that was The Black Company by Glenn Cook. Um, it took me three tries, three tries to really get into this book and to complete it, and I'm so glad that I did because I ended up loving it. But boy, is that a tough 
book to um, to start and continue. I mean, if you don't have a lot of experience or if you don't really know what to expect with that, that's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge for people. Um, yeah, I just remember the first two times I picked it up, I got I didn't even I didn't even finish the first chapter, but it was just so confusing, and I'm just like I I have no idea what's going on. These just seem like random words on a pay on on a book <laughs> in a book and i just had to i had to put it away for a while um but i got back into it and the third time around i was just so determined i'm just like you know what even if i don't understand a single thing throughout this whole book and it all just ends up being random words in a book i'm gonna finish it i'm determined to finish it and i think it was about a third into it or so is when I really started to get a grasp on the story and really started to get into it and really enjoyed my time with it. And like I said, I'm so glad I did because The Black Company is awesome. That whole series is awesome. And I've read many of the other books in that series too. If you're into Grimdark, I highly recommend it. Um, Black Company is great. Now I am gonna go out on a limb here and add one more question to this Led Zeppelin tag because Immigrant Song is my favorite song by them and it's not a part of this tag, so I'm going to make it a part, well, just for myself. So, number 10 would be name a book or series that you love that is very Viking-inspired or, or Norse mythology-inspired. And for that, again, I'm going to choose John Gwynn's uh, The Bloodsworn Saga. I know that's Viking-inspired, heavily Viking-inspired, and I know I haven't read it yet, and, there, you know... There's always a chance that I may not enjoy it, but like I said, I'm anticipating that I'm going to love it. Yeah, I just ca I can't wait to get to it. I really, it's it's a shame that I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I, I, I beat myself up every day about it, but I'm hoping to get to it soon. There's just so much on my list. Like, it's, it's not even funny. But anyways, that's my answer for that, and that is the Led Zeppelin tag. So thank you so much for sticking around. Um, if you stuck around and watching this tag video, I hope you enjoyed it, and learn some more stuff about me thank you again to the fantasy thinker and collins corner and cliff stark gems for tagging me in this it was a lot of fun and that's it that's all i have for you thank you very much for tuning in everybody and i'll see you next time